Hi there, uh, it's Jonathan from Kickstart Commerce and uh, I'm just recording a very quick tutorial in relation to logo sizing. So when you first um, start your big commerce um, trial or, or store build, um, one of the first things you do um, most likely is to upload your logo if you have one. If you don't, it will just use normal text and that's fine. Um, but if we go and look in the back office, you can see that if we go into the storefront area here on the left hand menu, and then we go to the logo section, then here is where you can upload a logo. So we can have just text like that, or you can upload a logo. Now, this logo has been uploaded and it says the recommended size for your theme, and we're using the default theme at the moment, um, which is called, let me just remind us, it's called Cornerstone Light. Um, now, this seems like quite a small area for a logo in my view, 250 by 100 pixels. So that's 250 pixels wide by 100 pixels tall. Now, if we look at the front end using the Chrome uh, inspector, and you can do the same thing in other browsers like uh, Safari, Edge, uh, Firefox, etc. But I, I prefer Chrome for this sort of thing. Um, so we'll go and inspect and we'll just use this little tool here. Now you can see here that the image that was uploaded originally here has a lot of white space around it. So that will be making it smaller than you might want it to be. Uh, and also if I just um, hover on that again, you can see to the left over here, there's a, a little box that pops up and it says the image is 145 by 100 uh, pixels. Now that's being restricted by the 100 pixel height, but because we've got all this white space around it, that makes the logo actually very small. So there's two things we can do here. First of all, we can upload another version of this logo without the white space around it, and that will make it bigger for, sh for sure. And then beyond that, I'll, I'll actually show you how to make the logo bigger, even bigger still, even when there's no white space around it. So let's start with this logo. So if we go to a photo editor, now I use pixelr.com for these demonstrations because this is available to any free online editor and it's getting a lot better. Uh, you can obviously use Photoshop, Fireworks, that sort of thing, but... Um, it, this is actually starting to become pretty good. Now, if we go and open our original uh, logo image that was uploaded there, which I think is this logo plane, so you can see all of this white space around it. So I'm going to use the tools on here for cropping. And we'll just crop that right down so we don't actually lose any of the logo, but we don't really have any white space around it. So that should do. And then the button down here applies it. Okay, so we'll save that. I'm going to change this to PNG. Um, JPEGs are, are used where there's shading involved, um, but PNGs are probably better where there's block colors involved. Anyway, so this image width of 313 pixels and height of 159 seems like a pretty good size for an online logo to me. So let's go with that. And then I'm just going to overwrite this one that I saved earlier. But that's okay. So let's close that now. So what we can actually do is go back to the back office here. And what we'll do is re-upload this uh, logo. So um, I don't know quite how we get rid of this. Let's look. Right, so we're going to say replace the image. Okay, so we're gonna go with logo plane this time. Now you should immediately see that it will go bigger. There we go, because we haven't got the white space around. And that actually might be big enough for what we need. So let's just save that. The changes were successfully changed. And if we now go and look at the front end, refresh the page, then you can see that actually that's gone to a fairly decent size now. So that's all good. Um, if we did want to make it bigger, then what we're going to have to do is um, look at the style commands on there. 
Now, if we look at header logo image, you can see here, when, so when you hover over this graphic, and in fact, if you use this tool here and click on it, it highlights in here which is the row in the HTML um, that is actually telling it to put this out. Um, and it's got the logo here, and it's saying header logo image. Now, if we look at the header logo image commands, what we can probably see is that if we make the height something like 150 px, you can actually get it to um, to de-restrict it. Now, the only problem with that is you lose some quality uh, and you can immediately see that that is actually slightly blurry now. So that's probably not the best way to do it, um, but certainly that is one way to do it. Um, I think the other way um, is so we can actually go into um, my themes. And then I think it's in the customized bit here. And then we look for the area where it mentions the logo. And there are some settings in there. Now this, as you go through these sections here, there's a pop-up and it looks like there's a certain amount of options. But what you don't necessarily immediately notice is that actually there's a scroll bar on there. There's a lot of extra options as you scroll down within each pop-up here. So I think if we look for global, it's either global or styles, we might find something relating to the logo. Not there. Not there. Probably, possibly header footer logo. Here we go. So you can see here the logo image size is optimized for the theme. So there'll be a reason for that, that this theme works best with the logo at the size that they've determined, um, probably based on how it looks in a mobile or a tablet as well. Um, but you can actually change that and say, I want it to show at my original size. So let's do that. Um, so the preview has not worked very well, um, but it will have made the change. And let's just quickly see what the other option is. Specify dimensions. Okay, so here, yeah, we can actually change the size of this. So, um, so there's various options there. I'm going to finish this uh, video now. Um, if you've got any questions, then uh, put them in the comments. Okay, bye for now.